on the Health Watch. After more than a decade, experts are issuing new guidelines for the prevention and treatment of Lyme disease. Mm. And Dr. Malika Marshall is here tonight with more. And Dr. It's such a big problem, mm. and the guidelines come from several different medical groups. That's right. These are le leading organizations in infectious diseases, mm -hmm. neurology, and rheumatology. And many of the recommendations are really geared toward medical professionals. But I think there's some important takeaways and reminders for the general public, namely that it's really important to try to protect yourself from getting bitten in the first place with protective clothing, insect repellent that contains DEET, frequent tick checks when you come in from outdoors, showering within two hours of being outdoors can reduce the risk. Also, check your pets, your dogs and your cats who might be outside because ticks may latch onto them, fall off, and then latch onto a human in your bed, for example. And if you're bitten by a deer tick and it's engorged and it's been attached for more than 36 hours, you want to call your doctor or go to an urgent care as soon as possible because a single dose of an antibi antibiotic can prevent Lyme, but only if it's taken within 72 hours of removing the tick. I was telling you before, my son, two years old, just diagnosed with Lyme disease. He's on the antibiotics now. We never even saw I know. a tick on mm. him. And usually the ones that transmit it the most are tiny, tiny ones, so they're the hardest to see. Right. The teeny little deer ticks, yeah. right? This is interesting. An advisory panel to the CDC wants to expand the use of the HPV vaccine. Panel members believe in some cases people in their 40s could benefit. And doctor, right now this vaccine is only recommended for kids, right? Well, it's one of the routine childhood vaccinations for boys and girls at about age 11 to 12, mm -hmm. but it's also recommended for women up to age 26 and men up to age 21 if they haven't been previously vaccinated. The um, just a reminder, the HPV vaccine reduces the risk of infection with human papillomavirus and therefore reduces the <laughs> risk of cervical cancers and some other cancers. And now they're saying that men and women up to the age of 26 should get vaccinated if they haven't been vaccinated before and even up to age 45 if they've spoken to their doctors and they think that it's advisable. This so. is one of those things that so many people, especially men, they don't even know that they're carrying it. So much of the population has HPV. Exactly. It can lead to cancer. Sir, it's a scary thing. Exactly, and it usually doesn't cause any symptoms. You wouldn't know if you have it. But so. the important thing is it, it's three shots, right? It's so usually now two. Bring, oh, it's down to two. Down to two. So you got to make sure you have them within a certain time. Exactly. Period, right? I think six months apart or something like that. Right. But yeah, your doctor will follow the guidelines. Good advice as always, Dr. Welcome. Malcolm Marshall. Thank you so much.